So, <clears throat> it's me, your boy, Kisamsin. I have something special for us today. You know, I was sleeping today. I was in a dream. So, suddenly, I I see this, what, this <coughs> attack. I will call it attack. You know what I'm saying? I see this attack, you know. It was in a big vineyard. That, mean, that vineyard, it was for me so suddenly i was with one of my friends so in that vineyard i saw someone there uh, let me put it their animal in the first place so i was telling my friend that this is how we are going to attack them that we are going to use the sword in our hand to cut their what their leg that the moment we cut their leg they will be unable to do what to run so as i was just saying it we are planning it so the moment we rush them they start to run and suddenly they turn to become human you know i do used to tell us let's be serious in prayer as a chosen because there, there are some reasons why god put you into that family there are some reasons why god want you to be there there are some reasons why god put you into that situation today you are not there just because you want to be there and be eating and be drinking. You, you get what I'm saying? So God have purpose why he kept us in our family. So we need to be consistent in prayer. And sometimes we need to be consistent in recording everything God have given to us. What he have done. Appreciation. Thanking him for everything. So that will lead him mostly. You know sometimes it's not prayer you pray. Don't 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 misquote me. I'm not saying prayer is not good because I can't change the scripture. The Bible says we should be what prayerful, consistent in prayer. But I want to tell you this: there's nothing more bigger. There's something that is special than prayer. Believe me, I'm not here to argue with no one. You know, anyone who always appreciates his father for what he have done, even if the father don't have. That your father will borrow months that thing to give you. If your father don't have money and you always tell your father, Daddy, oh, you have tried the Lord. Daddy, you are you have done this for me those years. You have done this one. You have done this one. Daddy, you do a lot. You do a lot. He will have that boldness to do more for you. That is the same way God is. So the more you give God times, you appreciate him for the things he have done, for the one he you have, for the one he is about to do. You always tell him, Dad, I thank you because you have done it yesterday. And I know you are capable to do it again. You, The more you do it, he will always arose in his mighty throne to do for you what no man on earth can do for you. But what, what, what am I trying to say is this. These people turn to animals. They were animal before when when we were trying to because we were thinking that they are animals, so we want to kill them. You got me saying we want to kill them with a the sword in our hands. So the moment we start to pursue them, they turn to a human. But I, I, I can recall and remember that their legs they, they were for mother, father, and two children. So the moment we start to pursue them, they turn to a human. But their leg were, was what unable to turn to human leg. Their leg turned to um, elephant. Elephant leg. It was so big on the ground. They were running like horse. Horse. They were running like horse because their leg turned to like elephant. Their leg turned to elephant. But all their all their body, all their face, I can recall that they all turned to human being. That is why my dad always tell me, Samson, be careful, be careful. Whom you greet, whom you laugh with. Why? Because majority of people you see on the street, majority of people you see in the market, not all of them are using their real leg to walk physical. There are many who are using their head to walk spiritual. Why physical? They appear as if they are using their, their two legs. Even the Bible recorded it that the wickedness of the wicked are too bad. That men are using their head to walk on the street so what am i trying to say this was stated in the old testament so what do i what, what am i here to say let's be prayer for pray in any any visiting demons any demons that visit your vineyard any demon that visit your kingdom vineyard any demon that visit your kingdom what 
progress, sources. That is why sometimes people will be rising. They will be falling. They, they rise, they fall. Why? Because someone have used... You, how will I explain it? Like, how will I explain it? This is... Let me put it. This is the middle. This is your sources. Let me say... How will I explain this? Let me say, this is your sources. You got what I'm saying? This is your sources. Here is already broken. Broke. So, what am I trying to say? Is that you, you, someone will just manifest from here to here... All this year have already been the glory, the so the, the, the grace is supposed the glory is supposed to use around this place that is broken. Someone have already steal it. That is why this person will go all this while passing difficult time until he reach here before he continue to progress again. Why? Because someone have taken what have already been occupied in that place for greatness. Someone have used it on his behalf. But hear me and hear me clearly. Whoever that visit the glory that God have given to you, whoever that visit your what your vineyard, whoever that want to use your glory for their own glory, whoever that want to use your manifestation for their own manifestation, whoever that want to use Use your sources for their own sources. Whoever that have gone on your behalf to steal that who belongs to you, God is going to disappoint them. God is going to arrest them in the name of Jesus Christ. Hear me and hear me clearly. So as I was in that dream, so as we were pursuing them, they were running severely because they were too big. And my eyes were so red. My friend's eyes were so red. We are ready to kill kill when i mean kill with the sword is too big it's too big in my hand i was carrying it pursuing them so suddenly as they are running they were running like this in a in a what in a line they are, they are not running one go here one go they were running in a line in a in a line like this so the moment they were running I saw two two guys whom which I know. So suddenly these two guys were there. I don't know what they, they were doing in that fan, in our vineyard, but they are they are my friends. I don't know what they are doing in my vineyard. So suddenly these people just meet them, hit them, and uh, immediately they use their leg to match on their stomach, match all the whole broke all the whole bone. They break all the whole bone in their body. So my friends stop running and he started to do it to conscious them he started to ask them stand up stand up why me i didn't give them i was just pursuing them pursuing them so it get to a point where they run inside bush, where they enter into another bush so i was just wasting them on the road to come out so that i can i can penetrate so suddenly as they just run past the next thing i throw my sword on them but unfortunately it was unable to do or to meet them. They passed. The next thing I see that they enter into another bush, very, very big bush. They enter there. And what I, the reason why I glorify God for this is because they were unable to take what belongs to us. But I do used to say this. Be careful whom you call your friends. Be careful whom you call your friends. Be careful who you call your relative. Be careful whom you share your, whom you share your testimony to. Be careful the people you announced what God is doing around for you. Be careful, be careful, be careful. Because in this dream, these two people are my friends. You gotta say, these two people are my friend. I know them physically. I know them, but the issue is that we don't know what, or we don't know the purpose why they are there, because we didn't come with them. We didn't come with them. They have already been there before we come. Let me put it in this way: they are already be there, and the the moment how will I say it now? When I saw them in the front, before the animal hit them, they were bending down, doing something. You know what I'm saying? They were just bending, doing something, which I don't know. That means there must be something that is going on. Maybe God just wants those people whom we were pursuing to injure them. <clears throat> you don't understand how God work you know sometimes when the enemy want to attack you they will destroy everything around you for your own sake look at it when jesus was born pharaoh killed many abi heron heron killed many people for the sake of one baby for the sake of kings of kings he 
kill, he destroyed, but he was unable to kill Jesus. What am I trying to say? It may be these people whom I call my friends, with these people whom I know, it may be there's something, they, they have a reason why they are there. It may be they are there for something. You know, sometimes people whom you trust are the people whom are doing you. <laughs> you know, when I was at home, my pastor used to sing, pray that prayer. Whoever that is doing me and is still asking me how am I, whoever that is doing me and is still coming in my front telling me how am I doing, may God in his influence mercy show them pepper that they can never have water to quench it. May God in his influence mercy give them record, give them what, what they deserve. May God teach them lesson of their life. You know, some people will be doing you. They will still be telling you. They will be still, they will be the one be telling you after you have passed that pain, after you have suffered, gone far, they will still be the one that will be telling you this is what you will do that you can, you can solve this problem. But they are the one who is doing you. Whoever that have visited your kingdom i don't get to know how long they have been visiting because it's not it's not one day that a thief come into your house that is the day he have started thieving it's not one day that a thief come and he's thief from you and that is not the first day they have been monitoring you they have been monitoring you so long that is the reason why they were they were able to come and they succeed to go so listen to me and listen carefully whoever that visit your kingdom whoever that visit the the kingdom yard that god kept your glory that god kept your manifestation that god kept your what your sources god is going to arose in his mighty warriors god is going to disappoint them the bible says he disappointed the devices of the crafties so that their hands will not carry out their enterprise i don't get to know how long they have stand but under the oceans of the word of god under the power from the grace from he who maketh us he never sleep nor slumber he said i am the lord god of israel he said is there anything too hard for me to do he said i will show you things and mighty things that eyes have not seen listen people whom you call your friends may be the one that is killing you people whom you call your relative may be the one that is causing you pain yet you don't discover them because the the, the worst enemy of a man is not people whom you know there are people whom you don't know and the enemy that fight you that kill you that want to destroy you are not strangers are those whom you eat with believe me are those whom you eat with and i come under the oceans of the word of god whoever that eat with you whoever that love that love with you whoever that enjoy being with you but in return they are the one doing you may god in his influence mercy arrest them may god arrest them the bible said the year that hosiah died that is the year that came king Isaiah was on that is what the year the Isaiah was on was able to see god listen the bible was was it was recorded that the year King Hosea died. That is the year Isaiah was able to see God. That is why God will always cause some people to live in your life. Why? Because you don't know what they do behind you. You don't know what they set up behind you. You don't know what they are doing to bring you down. You don't know who, how long they have been discovering or been monitoring everything about you. You don't know what they have been doing secretly. It's all God. It's only God and on, on God. It's, it's God who know it. They're in and they're out. So you need to be vigilant. When God remove people in your life, have that grace to let them go you need to develop that grace grace of letting people go because many people whom you see are against your greatness imagine they are there we were pursuing people and we don't know what they are they are doing there we don't even know so suddenly this my friends we are asking them to stand up they stand up they say no we can't stand we are tired our bones are broken we can't stand we can't stand and i decree whoever that visit that vineyard under the oceans of God and I make this as a contact to each of my subscribers each of my followers I make this prophetic word to them each all I make a contact to them each word I connect this grace to all of you I don't get to know the, the area you based on I don't get to know whether your finance that is where you are lacking grace or whether in your in your working shape in your business in your academic I don't get to know the angle that the enemies are stealing from you but I make this contact this contact today with that grace that grace God is going to put your enemy down that they will be unable to rise they will be unable to rise.
God is going to arrest as many that is stealing from you. God is going to put them in a condition that they will, uh, they will, uh, that they will be asking for repentance. Unless they repent, they will never stand up from there. The Bible says he frustrated the devices of the crafting so that their hand will not carry out the enterprise. He said, my word will not convoil to me or to accomplish the purpose why it is being sent forward. I decree whoever that costs you, whoever that costs you pain, whoever that costs you cry, whoever that have gone far to make sure they see you cry, they are going to cry your cry. <laughs> you know, sometimes God will give you vision and you don't know whom the vision consign. I don't get to know whom, where you come from, whether you are you based in America, you based in UK, you based in London, you based in Uganda, you based in Africa, you based in any area, any continent you base. Today, as under the sound of my voice, God is going to arrest whoever that is against you, whoever is making things to be hard for you, whoever is making things not to go well in your life, whoever is making that marriage not to be successful. Because the Bible says, He that findeth a good wife, findeth a good thing, and obtain mercy from the Lord. But you can come to understand when people realize that you have found a good thing, you have you are obtaining mercy from the Lord, they will start to find way in order for them to put your the wicked in order for them to cause asunder but God is going to arrest them this moment in the name of Jesus Christ it was recorded it was recorded that God God cannot be mocked that was ever a man's soul on earth the same day shall reap why they are listen whoever they have swell whoever they have gone far for your sake whoever they have concluded not in their lifetime will they see you make it so shall it be to them my brother so shall it be to them <laughs> i'm not here to pray a prayer of uh, the best no 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 Whoever that refuses to let you enjoy what you have sowed. Whoever that don't want you to enjoy your manifestation. Whoever that want, don't want you to go far. They themselves will be watching you being promoted. Why their own will be drying. <laughs> when Saul so was trying to put David down, he was drying. He was going down without realizing until the glory of God depart from him. Listen, the glory of God and the grace of God make man different. It's not your handwork. So listen, whoever that have taken assignment over your life, whoever that have taken assignment. You know, sometimes when the enemies can't kill you, they give someone assignment. When the enemy can't destroy you, they give someone assignment to work on your behalf. Whoever that have taken assignment over your life to destroy you, God will visit them with a rod of razor. God will visit them with a huge rod of razor. In today, in the name of Jesus Christ, I don't get to know how long they have been doing you. I don't get to know how long they have been succeeding. But if there be a man of God, whom God who said in his own time, if I be a man of God, let fire fall. If I be a man that was being chosen by God, if I be a living word God spared mission, God is going to send fire and thunder or on every man or woman that have stand up to re to rest to rest in to do or to fight you they have said not in their lifetime would you make it god is going to disappoint their handwork god is going to frustrate their handwork god is going to terminate their evil plant against you god is going to humiliate them in the name of jesus as god disappoint jezebel that is how god is going to disappoint them as god disappoint him man that is why that is how god is going to disappoint them as god disappoint Points, Safaria and Analias. God, that is how God is going to disappoint them. As God disappoint Sodom and Gomorrah, that's how God is going to disappoint them. I don't get to know how long they have been doing, but today, disappointment is the next step case. Yes. <laughs> you know, sometimes it's so painful. You 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 start up something. You were doing well, things were going on, everything is moving in a smooth way, suddenly things start to go down on your behalf without your notice. Why? Because someone whom you know have already stepped in to do or to cause you pain. That's why my, my, my dad always tell me, Samson, a man without a secret will die like what? A, 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 a security. A man without a secret will die like a security. 
Because before a thief enter into a, any house, before a thief decide to penetrate any house, before a thief start said I want to go and thief, the net the first person that they always target is the gate man. That is the security man. So whoever that have tried to visit you, whoever that want to kill you, they will kill yourself. Yes, they will kill yourself in trying to kill you. Whoever that want to destroy your glory will destroy their own. La la bashi brakoya, then zubatoya. God is going to disappoint all your enemies. That those who laugh at you will have reason to glorify God. God is going to use you as an example to others. Any enemy, any witchcraft others, any witches and wizards visiting your vineyard, visiting your place of glory, God is going to disappoint them these days. They are going to go in shame. Because we don't know what they are doing there. They know what they are doing. Maybe that is the reason why God positioned those people that we are pursuing to go in that ways, in that ways, in order for them to injure them. You know, sometimes when you cannot injure people whom you do love, God will use your enemy to injure them. Yes, believe me. When you cannot fight them, God will use your enemy to cast asunder that they will be fighting each other. The Bible said, time will come that any kingdom will fight against kingdom. Nation will fight against nation. Maybe those people, are I just call them my friends, but not knowing what they are there, what they are up to. But God used those people whom we are pursuing to injure them. God knows why. I don't know. I don't know the purpose why they are there. I don't know the reason why they are there. I don't know the reason what they are doing, why they are bending down. Because they were there. They, they were unable to escape because the, these people have already met them with a, a leg like an elephant. Why their body are human? God is going to arrest them. La la kata ibradozo alinto posi badaya. This is all I have for you, brothers. Let's be consistent in prayer. Let's put God in prayer in anything we do. Because the enemies are rolling around severely looking for whom to destroy. We know the purpose why they are with us to steal, to kill, and to destroy. And none of these three things will be occurring in your life from today in the name of Jesus. Enemy will not have room in your life. Enemy will not be able to destroy what you have sold in the name of Jesus Christ. So remain blessed and be blessed. It's me or boy, it's something. You know, if there's no one up there to pray for you, Always contact me. I'm here to pray for you. And I'm here to be there. And I know that you all are, are what are still with me. May God bless you. Man, may God indeed favor you. May your going out and your coming in be secured. May your spiritual life be lifting from one angle to another. May God bless you to the point that men who are known will, will do what we know you. May God lift you up to the point that those who are lifted will call you lifter. In the name of Jesus Christ. Remain blessed. It's me, your boy, Tess. I'm saying. If you feel like donating or sowing to this prophetic word, brothers and sisters, listen, it is very good sometimes to sow, but I'm not forcing. I'm not saying you should sow. It's not by force. But sometimes it is great when you sow. Why? Because look at the life of Elijah. The woman that sowed into Elijah, what he, she what she received in return. So listen, there's a benefit you will, you will always receive when you sow. To anyone, I'm not saying to this channel, but particularly people who are around you, who are like homeless, who are like orphans, who are like in in in, in you know where they where they used to keep people who are fatherless, motherless, you know where they keep them. So there's a purpose. There, there is a great reward for you if you sow to their life. Believe me, if you sow to their life, there are many benefits you will gain that even your prayer cannot open that door. That thing will open a lot of door for you. Believe me, if you sow to any soul that God, he said, I was naked, no one do what clothed me. I was hungry, no one give me food. I was what naked, no one Clot me so re record this word god can never lie with his word so remain blessed and be blessed forever but and if you feel like sowing to this prophetic or you feel like sowing to this seed you are free free i mean any amount is what is accepted remain blessed and be blessed forever so remain blessed may god bless you and favor you in the name of jesus amen